Hi everyone, uh, this is Hamid. Uh, today we are going to be talking about uh, vocal sense. How to make vocal sense? It's uh, it's a it's a pretty popular technique. Uh, these past few years and you can you can hear it in a lot of um, pop songs these days nowadays you can you can hear it everywhere on the radio so yeah it's a mm, vocal vocal chop is a, is a different for, for me uh, vocal senses are different than vocal chops uh, if uh, hopefully in, in future videos I will I'll cover I will also I will also cover how, how to how to how to make uh, vocal uh, chops but today we're gonna be focusing on vocal uh, synths how to make them and how to use them okay so I'll, I'll just quickly play play a sample uh, play a sample of uh, one of my remixes uh, I did um, it's a remix of uh, pillow talk by Zane <coughs> All right, let's uh, let's play the sample. Okay, so uh, I will I will solo the lead the lead uh, vocal scent so you can get, you, you guys can hear it clearly. Okay, so um, for us to create this sound, to get uh, to create this sound, we need first of all we need the clean sample. We need the no, we need a clean uh, acapella. So get uh, get whatever acapella you have, then uh, import it into the project. So in this case, I've already imported imported the vocals that I'm going to use. This this is uh, a cappella of Zane. Okay. Uh, once you have got once you have that uh, second step, you need um, you need to chop you need to chop a vowel from the vocal. Okay. So in this case. Uh, you just uh, in this case, I just uh, opened this uh, vocal, uh, this a cappella in Edison or whatever. Um, uh, it doesn't matter whatever, whatever DAW you're using. Um, you just need to any any audio editing software will do this. Just open it, open it in a in Edison or any other uh, audio editing plugin. Browse, uh, browse through the vocals, browse through it, and find any vowel that you like, or any, any, any vowel that is long enough, is sustained enough to be a, um, uh, to be a vocal synth. So in this case, what, uh, what I've, I've got, I chopped the part where uh, it says. Oh, let's yeah, yeah, this part. Uh, I got this part. Always. Okay. So once you've selected that uh, part, uh, you need uh, third third step. You need a sampler. You need to get a sampler. Uh, you need a sampler and you need to import this uh, chop vocal into it so in this case since I'm using FL studio I will be using Harmer Harmer is a great is a great uh, synthesizer and sampler at the same time we can do a lot of things but uh, today I'm, I will be using it for sampling 
So okay, I've, I've already I've already have this um, uh, our Harmer channel ready here. I'll just uh, reset it. So we have a clean we have a clean uh, Harmer. All right. So once you have your sampler ready, you just need to import this uh, the vowel inside the inside the sampler by dragging this here drop it here in the in the image section okay now that you now that you have now that you have this um, this Im uh, what do you call this this sample this vocal chop inside your sampler uh, you need you need to add effects to the vocals uh, to the vocal sample what I mean uh, what I mean is like uh, distortion compression changing changing the sample change, uh, changing the sample speed changing the sample start date and stuff like that you can uh, you can mess, mess mess around with the sample and create the fix that and create the sound that you want if by the way if you're not familiar with uh, from if you don't know the armor at all um, Let's say it's uh, Harmony is a very complex uh, plugin, so we will, I will not uh, I will not explain everything about Harmony today. Um, uh, if you, if you guys need to know more about Harmony, you can uh, you can comment down below or message me. Uh, I will I will uh, make a, a tutorial on how to use basics of uh, Harmony, or you or you can just check out Seamless. Uh, just search seamless in YouTube. You can. He's a. He's a. He's an expert. He's an expert in Harmer. He can teach you everything. All right. So where were we? Okay. So we have already have the sample in Harmer. We just need to adjust some. We just need to tweak it to make it make the sound the way we want. Uh, in this case, I will just uh, mess around with with time, time start, start time, and speed. Uh, without anything, uh, without anything, any effects, this sample sounds like this. Okay, very plain and simple. So what we we need to do? Okay. Okay. Uh, playback time is uh, it's okay. I just need to adjust the speed, um, make it slower, make it slower, so the sample will will uh, will play longer. Will be uh, uh, will be longer. Yeah, that uh, that's what we need. We need a sustained sample to get the better effect, to get a better result. No way. Now it, it now it sounds longer. It sounds uh, it's like it uh, it's stretched. Um, that's what we need. Uh, okay. So now that I've already done this, uh, you need uh, I need uh, you need this you need the sample to be in uh, mono mono mode or legato mono legato. So it uh, or, um, what do you call this notes no note, overlapping notes will will slide will slide it will not, it will not uh, play together the notes it will, uh, so it, it will be monophonic um, okay so now that no we have this no 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 okay very cool um, next step next step find out find out the pitch of the chop sample and tune it into the into note C. Okay, what do I mean by that? Um, right now, it, in Harmony, if you're using Harmony, it's very easy to find out what what's the pitch of any sample. For example, this sample. When I when I when I click when I hit the C when I hit the C key on the keyboard. No, wait. Or maybe not this no, one. Wait. Okay. In this in this um, in this uh, frequency spectrum, you can see what note this sample is uh, at. So if you hover on the high, uh, uh, if you hover on the base, um, the first frequency, this base frequency of the sound, uh, you will see you will see um, it's it's at the at the uh, left corner and uh, left top corner of the screen it says it's uh, it's playing C sharp 4 uh, on the octave 4 okay so what we need to do we need to set um, we need to set this to play C when we play C it needs to play C not C sharp 
okay so in this case we just need uh, here in armor I will just bring this bring this master pitch down uh, one semitone or 100 one 100 cents okay now when I when I hit C the sample is playing at C okay that's what we need all right uh, okay fifth step what we need is to make a melody with the vocal sample okay so I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not going to make a new melody right now I'll just uh, copy and paste the existing melody that I've, I've created for this song here in the new in the new channel in this new harbor okay so now I have this melody already pasted in inside this um, inside the um, what do you call this piano piano roll so let's have a listen of how it uh, how it sounds let's solo this armor channel let's solo it so we can hear only this this chant this track So it, it already has a good vibe to it. So, but uh, we need we need to do some processing and uh, stuff like that to make it sound better. So, what do I need to do next? What do I need to do next is um, layer this sound. Layer this sound. Okay, now uh, what we need, what do I need to do is add more effects to it, like reverb reverb delay compression stuff like that uh, compression distortion I'm gonna I'm, I will, I'll be adding a little bit of uh, distortion to this sound to make it a little bit uh, in this case I will, I will add log distortion let's see how it sounds alright sounds a little bit cooler better then I can add some reverb reverb yeah. and a little bit of compression heating compression let's bring out bring down the amount and bring out the mid and highs now we have a cooler sound okay this this um, what we have created so far is already is already sounds very sounds sounds very good so it's very usable right now but if it's up to you if, if you want to add more effects here more effects compression distortion and uh, stuff like that you can do that but in this case I'm not gonna do, do it anymore so step six step six what we need to do is layer this sound is layer is to layer this uh, melody with another instrument I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so I've I've already um, chosen a different different instrument that uh, would sound good with this one. When you layer them together, it will sound better. So I, I will solo that uh, instrument so you know what, what what I'm what I'm talking about. Alright, so it's the same same melody. It's this violin violinish instrument is playing the same melody as the main melody. Okay, so we layer them together, we get we get this sound. Alright, sounds very cool. Uh, as you have noticed. Um, this this vocal synth instrument is kind of um, it, it needs some it needs some uh, release at the end of at the end of any no, at the end of notes so it, it uh, it's it, it, it needs it's it needs to tail off so right now it's when, when you release the key 
realistically it, it ends the sound ends but we need we need to add a release so it will smooth out yeah just just uh, it's just a preference just to sound just make it sound better so in in um, in in Harmer, you can easily do that with uh, with this uh, by adjusting this uh, volume envelope and create a release tail. Right now, it, and now it sounds like this. No it's too much. Let's reduce it. No. Okay, now sounds sounds better. Right, that's it. As simple as that. Mm. One more thing. Um, there's a lot of ways to do this. Uh, there's a lot of ways to do this technique, but um, this is this synthetic technique. I found I found it to be the easiest for me. Of course, everyone has their own own preference, but this one is the um, easiest for me. Uh, and also. Um, there are a lot of other there are a lot of other samplers like you can use in this case I would use Harmer but you can also use Serum um, and do the same thing do the same thing there um, I have one more I have one more uh, vocal synth in this song I've, uh, I'll show that as well um, basically it's a, I just use the same technique there but with a different uh, vowel. So I will just solo that one for you to get an idea. I think this. Ah, this, this one. All right, so that one is, um, is a different, uh, same technique. I browsed through Zane's uh, acapella and fi found a part that I like and imported into Harmer. This one. All right, sounds very nice. Um, so same technique, same technique that uh, as before what I did. It's just a different vowel and plus different different effects i don't know what i did here i didn't use any distortion here i used delay reverb and compression nothing not so much yeah that's it okay that's it this is how you make uh, vocal chops all right thanks for watching if you learned anything if you learned anything from this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Alright, thank you. Bye-bye.